When you match up a famous funny man with an overachieving businesswoman who's also a best-selling author, you get the fabulous chaos that is the life of Hamish Blake and his wife, Zoe Foster Blake. Oh, and you also get two adorable children. But for all their career success, the Blakes, like the Beatles, reckon all they really need is love. Tonight, they tell us why. Hamish and Zoe tell all. Hamish is... Close-up camera and Hamish's slightly wider camera, sometimes catching Zoe in the shot, but not if you can help it. <laughs> I feel he's just set the theme. Yeah. <laughs> you met my husband. <laughs> it's a sweltering day in Melbourne. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Lovely, thank you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and the Blake clan is on the loose. Oh, it's you. Oh, great to see you. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, off you go. All right. Well, talk to you later. Never happier than when they're together as a family. We want the kids to just know that the number one thing in life is love and fun, and that's what our family is about. And aside from that, we just try and fill those and boxes. Being a good person and helping being others person, and all the other important stuff. All that good stuff. <laughs> but as a family, like we, I think at this stage in life, we're just passionate about making sure that we're there and making memories. With the emphasis on fun. Remember, you, you got your feeders brakes. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. For four-year-old Sonny and 18-month-old Rudy, life is all <laughs> one big adventure. It's gone. Bye. And the occasional spill. Whoa! Oh, that's are you okay. Every hiccup, <laughs> a learning experience. Oh, sweet. Brush off your knees. Brush off your arms. How are you feeling? <laughs> That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Definitely a bad idea. <laughs> Another great chapter of parental learning. Do you share similar philosophies when it comes to raising kids? Yeah, I think so. but I think we're also like everyone, you're just making it up as you go along. Like, are you meant to run with sticks? Or no. Is it no running with sticks? <laughs> yes. Or is it just you can play with a stick but you can't run with them? Or should sticks be off limit? Like, you just all the time you're just trying to remember mm. things you've heard other parents say. So. I don't know if we have a philosophy, except that we just try and we're be just, collaborative. We just collect rookies and we're open to new advice <laughs> yes, <exactly>. constantly. <laughs> we read the books, constantly we ask our friends. Aware that we don't know what we're doing. What I'm hearing is, please help us. Yeah, By God, please help. There should be a number that's on the screen now. Please help someone who they don't know what they're doing raising children. <laughs> uh, well, we've opened it just for you today. <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> We all know Hamish Blake as one half of comedy duo Hamish and Andy. Yeehaw! Oh my God, how look at me, I'm doing it! But wife Zoe Foster Blake is the quiet achiever of the family. Oh, no deliberate bumping. Not deliberate, I was panicking. A former beauty editor and relationships expert for Cosmopolitan magazine, she's the brains behind the smash hit skincare range Go To and has just released her 10th book on affairs of the heart, simply titled Love. I wanted to ask, why do you write about love? That's a great question. I don't really know. Um, I feel like in some cases, it's the joy of being able to lecture people <laughs> <laughs> and have fun with it at the same time. And sometimes they just need the tough love. You're very clear that you're not an expert. No. But I guess, who is? I know. Well, proper people with degrees, probably. But there's no such thing as a love degree. <laughs> no, there's not a love degree. But I, you It'd know... kind of cool, though. <laughs> it would be sassy on your business card. Um, but I like to act as, like, the older sister or even just the drunk girl in the bathroom that tells you straight, you should leave him. <laughs> your fan base is this younger generation, but you actually espouse some quite old-fashioned advice, don't you? Do. Um, Don't I'm... try too hard. Let the man make the first move. Yes, let them chase. Let them earn you. Um, I think that if someone has to work hard to win you over, then they feel like they've won something and you feel like treasure. That's a win win. No? <laughs> As the youngest of eight, Zoe was raised in the southern highlands of New South Wales. So I read something that your father once wrote, that you weren't the smartest of his kids. No way, I'm not. <laughs> I was so honest. I think that's what sort of built me into who I am, though. 
we weren't a family of heavy praise. It was, you know, you expected to do well. We we're in a very small town. If you want to get out of here, get the results. Her father is prize-winning author David Foster and mum Gerda, a counsellor at a high-security prison who raised her kids as vegetarians. When you grew up, Zoe, it was your mum, she was all into superfoods and wheatgrass mm. shots and this was back in the 80s. Yeah, the 90s. way ahead of her top. She was a pioneer. She was a pioneer. She still is. She's always ahead of the curve. Yeah, so I didn't appreciate any of that. Hated it, rebelled it, got a job at McDonald's as soon as I could. <laughs> Just to rub it in. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really appreciative. Which, and so which, to, which is so. So to kick in the face. so heartbreaking to get, to get you. Be like. Great news, guys. Be like the Pope's <laughs> kids getting a job. I don't know. It was, well, I mean, the Pope doesn't really have kids. But <laughs> terrible analogy. Great analogy. Keep going. <laughs> From country girl to social media superstar, Zoe now has 700,000 Instagram followers at her fingertips a besotted fan base that follows the Blake family's every move. Your romance began in, in rather a strange way. You met at the launch of a men's deodorant and you were each there with your respective partners at the time. Yeah, I was there with Andy, <laughs> who is still my wife. So I really try and juggle both of those. Both in long-term relationships when they first met, Zoe and Hamish remained firmly in the friend zone for years. They even wrote a book together on snaring the perfect partner. When you were writing the book on dating together, was there an inkling that there was something between the two of you? To be frank, I loved him very much as a friend, but I did not consider him romantically. And I... Which is weird, because I was a <laughs> bit of a hottie. And I, I also... <laughs> if I may. <laughs> if I may. <laughs> You weren't attracted to the, this kind of like slovenly guy that cut his own hair. <laughs> Weirdly, no. Um, mm. And I had just come out of a big relationship and I needed to be single. So mm. it wasn't even on my radar. Sorry, babe, no offence. That's right. Yeah. I was covered in radar stealth technology. <laughs> I wasn't anywhere near the radar. <laughs> you hadn't grown into yourself just yes. yet. That's a really lovely way yeah. of putting it. Thank you. When Zoe and Hamish both found themselves single, love blossomed. And within two years, they were happily married. My beautiful wife, uh, Zoe, last year you were just a lowly fiance, and now <laughs> a shining wife. Uh, just stunning. every night without the kids like we always do. Yeah. <laughs> it's date night at their favourite Italian restaurant. But main course is served with something on the side. Um, I've probably just got one question. Mm. Did you invite Alison Langdon? You guys are so cute. Oh, oh my God, Alison Langdon, like, what are you doing? I was about to make out with my wife, you big sicko. <laughs> do you actually find time for date night? Pasta. And oh, do you right, call it date night? night? <laughs> We find time for pasta. Sometimes we notice we're both here together, <laughs> but we won't talk. We'll just eat. Yes, date night info is leaving the house, but we, you know, once the kids are in bed, we have dinner, we have a drink, and we watch our shows. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty rock and roll. We're, we're pretty, pretty rock and roll. We're out there. You reckon you can bop me over? Can't bop me over. Oh, 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 oh. Zoe and Hamish are the good mates who found life with each other. A love now shared with their two beautiful kids. Play all, Dad, play all. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely in charge of the family. So what is it? What's the secret to love and finding the person of your dreams? Oh, Ellie. I don't think there's a secret, is there? I mean, there's no right or wrong. I'm sure there's lots of people out there that whirlwind totally worked for them. But I think what you, for us anyway, like when times get... You know, when you've got kids and you're hard and you're sleep deprived, you're falling back on your friendship far more than you're falling back on... Sexy times. First date flirting. Because <laughs> there's nothing sexy with the young kids in the house, is I there? I tried it. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. Like at three in the morning when the kids are crying, I went, I think I know what we need here. Went our way, <laughs> put some leather pants on and a satin shirt and came back. With the candle. It didn't work. That's weird. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> sexy times. I thought we'd fall back on sexy times. So, you know, we're at the end of the interview, but we're 60 minutes. You know we need the tick, tick, tick. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, like the cliffhanger. 
Yeah. Oh, actually, there was, you know, there was that weird fetish that Zoe had. Oh, don't talk about that, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, I'm Alison Langdon. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.